No, it's the 25th of uh, August. And it's 7.32. 60 degrees. I'm guessing it's 60. It was 58, 15 minutes ago. You feel some poke in my back. Uh, sunrise is at 5.45. Sunset is at 7.21. Uh, nothing on the side of the cameras. Yesterday was the uh, Snowmobile Club lobster dinner, and we, we didn't want to go there for the mad rush at, when they opened at 3, because people always come early and line up. And the dinner was supposed to start at 3.30. They had a band, it apparently has a, a big following, and when they play, they have uh, people that follow them around. So this is in play. The band was called the Wild Woods, plural. Like Wild Woods, New Jersey, but plural, Wild Woods. They played from three to five, so people were arriving for the band and for dinner. Kurt picked up 250 lobsters. He left here at 3 o'clock in the morning. Not sure what time to get back. But uh, we left here, our house, to go to dinner at 4.30. We got out. We got there. 10 minutes says that he sold one lobster. So we missed out. Last year they had 200 lobsters. She had 250. I haven't gotten a report as to uh, how much money we made after expenses. So since we missed the last dinner, we went down to Harris food truck and bought a uh, scallop basket there. The scallop dinner and a can of Coke. 31 change or 30 change. Well, that's more than 30 bucks. When we first started getting that dinner nine years ago, it was uh, 16 bucks.
We came back to watch the uh, NASCAR race at Daytona Coca-Cola 400. And unfortunately, the Coca-Cola car has just fueled up, getting ready to leave his pit. And the uh, guy from the pit behind pulled in. His car backfired and uh, ignited the gas on the ground, set the Coca-Cola car on fire. And the, uh, the driver thought there was just gas on the outside of the car. So uh, he figured it would burn off as he drove, but uh, it got worse. He ended up having to drive two and a half miles with the car on fire. I think it was going to go out, but it's just getting worse and worse. He's okay. It's a shame the uh, Coke calls sponsor the, the race. And their car goes out in a freak accident. Boy, that sounds hot. Holy cow. I shouldn't have a long sleeve shirt on. today. It's uh, it long again. Last time we motored it was long and we had a lot of wind rows. I'm trying to get out there earlier. Okay, sitting in the sun. It's just, uh, they get burnt. Coming back from dinner, we're driving up the road just up over six, about a uh, quarter mile up. And uh, 20 turkeys are walking up the road off the side road. There were uh, six adults and 14. Uh, a couple months old, I don't know what you call them. I don't think they're tricks anymore. Before the race, we were sitting out on the deck, just enjoying the, uh, the nice weather. And uh, somebody was shooting 
off to the west. There's nothing out there. Nothing out there for miles. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Unfortunately, sitting on the deck. The no seam is starting to come out. For you people that don't know what a no seam is, it's a, a tiny gnat like creature, winged creature that looks like smaller poppy seed. They bite. What's up, bud?
two dishes of chicken yesterday, so he should be primed and ready to go. Let's go. Come on. Blaine. Let's go. And now let's go. Looks like he's cracked. Yeah, let's go.
first machine of black <coughs> Get out of there. Get out of there. I don't know where you're looking. I don't like it though. Come on. She told me she did. I uh, sent her a text yesterday asking her about the chairs being on the ground in front of the stairs. And she confirmed she did paint the, uh, the deck. But she's got some windows too. Downstairs now. Oh, let's go. <coughs> Some off the wall. No, it's a brand name. I can't remember the brand name. Battery tender devices that uh, didn't seem like they were working. I think it's Black and Decker, <laughs> and they had been working. And all of a sudden, the uh, <clears throat> none of the lights would come on. And it was on Buffalo. So uh, I tried it on several batteries and nothing. So I put them on a shelf a while ago. And uh, <clears throat> the battery, well, the battery on the, uh, on the chipper seemed like it was weak. So <clears throat> while I was working on the, uh, the chipper, I put the battery tender plug on it because I had a bunch of spares. And uh, I was going to alternate between charging the ATV batteries and the side by side with the, the chipper. And I said, throw the uh, Black and Decker one on the shelf. So let me give that a try. 
I plug it in, the lights came on. I charged the battery up, and now it's fine. So I don't know what was happening with that black injector. Trickle charger. plug both of them into two different batteries and the one charged up in a couple of hours the other battery was like six volts and I left the charger for a day it got up to 11 volts I doubt it's going to ever fully charge but oh, come on come on get out in the house charge when you go out because the lawnmower is out a little bit. Oh. Holy cow. I am sweating. We haven't seen a hair in days, maybe a week. Leash again down there by the barn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. What are you doing? What? Anything else? Good boy. <clears throat> 